Hello everyone, this is Mara and welcome back to the new Maranda. We are here with our second season of this Let's Play Minecraft series and we are in my strip mine actually. <laughs> and can you guess why we are here and why I don't have any armor or anything? Well, ah, <sighs> sigh. I just died like a freaking noob in lava because I wanted to get some some levels since I don't have any um, since I don't have any grinders set up in this new world yet to get the levels. I came to my strip mine to do some mining and I fell into lava. So so there we go. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> And I lost my water. I tried to put put out the uh, f uh, the lava with my water bucket, and I tried to peel her up and all kinds of things, and it it was a hot mess, Liter literally, <laughs> a hot mess. Okay, so let's get let's try to get organized a little bit at least. Yeah, so hello everyone and welcome. I hope that you are having a good day. I was having a good day <laughs> until I fell into that freaking freaking lava hole. But I have gathered a lot a lot of resources. Uh, okay, okay guys, so let me get all this stuff and I can I can tell you things later. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Oh goodness. Okay, where is my this is my cobble? There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, and can I get this gravestone? Let's put some stuff away for now. Um Okay, there we go. Can I get this Can I get this gravestone? No. It breaks. Oh whoopie doo. Okay, let's let's uh <laughs> Why why game? Why do you hate me? Okay there there we go. Let's let's get out of here before something else happens. Okay. Yeah, so I have actually been doing a lot of mining in this new world so far. Uh basically to uh to get some resources since we didn't have any stone uh when we moved to the new world because i obviously didn't want to bring any any of the stone from the old world here so i've been mining a lot you can see on the map here i i have dug out a couple of tunnels already and as you may know already i really love mining so i've been enjoying myself here and I have done some work back at the house as well. So actually, let me let me go back at the um, back at the stables, and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, I want to show you where my where my strip mine is. I thought I I thought I see, saw a creeper here, but anyway, I decided to dig inside of this. Um, what is this biome? Uh no, it's not a crow. Okay, let me see. Anyway, <laughs> I'm I'm so disorganized. Sorry guys. It's it's actually very late, but I wanted to catch my first death on camera as much as possible. But anyway, I wanted to make my strip mine here. And I have some plans. I have some plans for the entrance and also for the pathway or the bridge to the strip mine. So it's not going to be the same as in the old world where we had the um strip mine was basically underground it was under my base but let's go inside and have a snooze before we die again or something something else silly and I want to show you the progress that I have made here so far okay wrong side I keep doing this <laughs> I forget where my bed is. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, let's have some steak for breakfast. And let's go down here. I think we should be good. Okay, 
So, I have done a lot of mining. This is just what I got before I died. And I have found some diamonds and a lot of stone, obviously, for the building things. And let me see. What else did I want to show you guys? Oh, yeah. Uh, just before I started recording, actually, I wasn't planning on recording <laughs> this late. It's actually um, almost midnight as I'm recording this. But, I, like I said, I wanted to catch my first gravestone <laughs> on camera. But anyway, I, I was uh, doing some work here, just crafting crafting some stuff, and I made myself a little, a little enchanting area here. And this is the advanced, advanced uh, enchanting table from enchantment plus question mark <laughs> anyway the the mod that we have on uh, zoo crafting as well which is very handy and let me see what else did I do hmm yeah I actually found a very weird bug I have no idea why why this is but when I'm smelting iron for some reason, I don't get any levels from it. As you can see, I have no levels. And I, I can't get any XP from this. Which is so weird. Because if, I, if I'm if i making some charcoal, I am getting some levels when I take it, take it out of the furnace. So, I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea why, is it, why it's not working. There we go. As you can see, it's working with this. But anyway... Yeah, so no idea. No idea what what's that. I think I may need to uh, res restart the game or something, something silly like that. But anyway, yeah, I made the little enchanting area there. It's only temporarily, or of of course. And I have done quite a lot of work here, actually. I started uh, off camera. I started planning where where I want my house to be, and this is what I've done so far. So. I've marked where the pathway is going to be for the house, and this is the roughly the size that I'm I'd like to go with uh, in this new world. It's going to be at least two stories tall, and I think there's going to be a basement because I I kind of have this idea already. I have this. Let's go down here. I have this idea. This used to be the little drop. Or the little little cave thingy that we have had here in the previous episode. I think I showed it to you guys, but I wanted to uh, fill in this area with dirt. But I have an I have another idea. We could actually uh, turn this into a um, entrance to the house. So it, there could be a door here uh, in the. Um, sorry, guys, my brain. My brain keeps farting. Anyway, in the um, downstairs or the uh, basement area, I, I was thinking that we could have a door leading to the house. And we could shape this area to be some sort of little backyard or something similar. But anyway, the, the idea is to have this house uh, in the middle of the hill and it would be like embedded to the to the hill so that there there would be a window window somewhere here too and this would be basically the hillside would be part of the house i'm not sure what i'm trying to explain here to you guys but anyway uh, houses like that do exist in real life too so that that was my <laughs> that was my inspiration but anyway yeah i want to lay out some foundation for the house already this part part here that is fenced off this is going to be my little personal garden i'm thinking that they there could be a um maybe a cherry tree or a rainbow oak tree eventually here and some nice flowers and here we have a pathway going down and this is actually going to eventually lead to my garden so the pathway is going to continue here and my garden area is going to start here and I was thinking that we could actually rebuild the uh, gazebo right here and I think that would be a very nice central point for the garden as well but anyway this is what I've done so far let's actually go here and grab some water 
while we while I remember that. <sighs> oh goodness. It's kind of funny. I actually <laughs> in the old world, in the old old world, I actually died in the second episode of the series and it, the same thing happened <laughs> in this new world too. So that's kind of kind of funny. Well, hello chicken. I kind of like that we have some wild chickens roaming around here. But anyway, yeah, I really like this this um idea so far. We are obviously going to do a lot of work here and shape up the the hillside as well, but I do like the idea that we will have this pathway going down from my garden to the um to the bigger garden. So this is going to be like this relaxing area. We would have some some benches and some nice flowers here, but the the crops are and the um, fruit trees and all that stuff they are going to be right there. I think we are going to utilize the most of that area down there. But yeah, this is. <laughs> I, mean, I keep repeating myself. Obviously, uh, it's so late, guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, I've c uh, collected some resources. I've made some stone bricks here already. Uh, I have a rough rough idea what I want to do with the house. How what kinds of blocks I want to use with that, and I feel like I want to go with uh, spruce and stone and yeah maybe some other words as well. But I will need to do some some testing. Maybe maybe go into a uh, creative world and see what I can do, what kind of design I want to go with. But anyway. I'm happy with the with the progress so far and I for some reason I really like this pathway. And this is eventually going to go to the stables and continue all the way to the barn as well. And let's see, what else did I do? I don't think I did much. I did a little bit of exploration with the dogs, mainly to to get some food for them. So we went went uh, all the way across the taiga and we got some meat for the doggies and I have also also planted a little bit what I want to do with this area I'm not sure if I did mention it already but uh, I think we are going to turn this this area into a pasture for the animals so all the barn animals all my horses are going to roam around here there was a pit of lava here that I cleared out actually earlier before I started uh, this new series and we are going to fill this in and the this area is going to be the pasture the enclosure area for the barn animals and I think it's going to be nice it's going to be like more like this um, organic organic pasture, pasture area and there's so many so many wild animals, sheep especially here already. So that's nice. And I really like that there's this little pond here already. So we could do some something with this, maybe shape it a little more, make it a little bigger, add some some water plants and whatnot. So so that's definitely exciting. And let me see. Uh I planted a lot of sugar cane here so I could make some I could make some books and and whatnot and get some sugar for cooking eventually. But yeah, the the biggest thing right now is to to actually make some progress with the house. I I think I need to like I said, do do some thinking off camera and see what kind of a design I'm eventually going to go with with the house and whatnot. But mostly it has been just, you know, basic resource gathering mining and <laughs> dying so far but anyway I hope th that you like the uh, progress with the house already and I will bring you guys back when I've made a little more progress or come up with the uh, nice design for the house okay guys so I've been working with the house design a little bit and this is what I have so far um <laughs> it appears that we are going to go with a little bit more modern look this time around which is very interesting. I I haven't really built any any uh modern modern-ish style builds in Minecraft before. So this is 
this is kind of interesting. But anyway, I have a couple of designs here that I'm still um, thinking, thinking through and trying to decide what I want to do. Uh, first I wanted to use some logs here, but I'm not sure if it does make it look a little too busy. So I tried tried the same kind of design without the logs, and I feel like I like this one better. And I also wanted to try out this sort of um, stone entrance to the house. I think it makes it pop a little more, and I do like that effect. And I was thinking that we would have some sort of some sort of overhang here, some sort of maybe a balcony, or we can we could uh, continue making the upstairs. Maybe some room could be like 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 up here. So these uh, pillars here are for that reason that there's going to be either a room or a little balcony area up there. But yeah, this is I I just wanted to uh, let you let you guys see the. Um, the progress with the house. Definitely need to do a lot more work with it. I need to try to de decide what kind of um, what kind of style I want to use, what kind of uh, blocks and whatnot I want to use. For some reason I feel like <laughs> I need to uh, refresh my creative my creative uh, juices <laughs> or something. So I feel like we might go on a little exploration in the next episode and see what we can find because I I found that I usually get very inspired when I see the scenery and all kinds of all kinds of, kinds of different things in the world so maybe that's something that we need to do but anyway I'm already or already planning that we are going to have uh, there's going to be another pathway here so it's easier to easier to um, to go here <laughs> Sorry guys, my brain keeps farting. It's actually, uh, this clip is recorded a little earlier than I'm used to recording, so, so apologies for that. It's, I'm a little bit all over the place in this episode. But anyway, like I said, I wanted to give you guys an update on what's happening with the house, and I will definitely continue working with this off camera, and we'll see what we can do. Okay guys, so I wanted to show you that I actually made myself a little little dishwasher here because I was, like I said um, earlier in this video, I was uh, trying to get some levels to be able to repair my pig and all the other stuff. And I then realized that why am I exactly trying to get levels when I can just, you know, make myself a washing machine and be able to repair all my things with this. So even though it does take quite a long time, even though it does take quite a lot, quite a lot of gold actually, to be able to make this thing go a little bit faster with the with the uh, super soapy water here, I think it's it's good. I think we are going to use that mostly because it's it's a little more efficient, especially since we don't have the um, XP grinder set up in this world yet. And I really want to find a skelly and a zombie spawner in this world too. I haven't been able to find them yet. But I'll, like I said, we did find the um, the spider spawner. And actually, <laughs> I actually remember where it is now. So let's hop over here and try to find the entrance again. For some reason it's a little bit tricky to find it. <laughs> or then I'm just... I'm. I think it's just me. I'm being I'm being silly, but it's supposed to be somewhere here. Let's see. Okay, that that needs a little bit more lighting. Okay, here we go. So here is the the uh, spider spawner that I found right after <laughs> right after moving th to the new world. I wanted to explore this the surface caves first. And there we go. And I actually got a couple of name tags from this place. I'm not sure did I did I find any um any other good good loot. Probably not. But anyway, I feel like we might be able to turn that into a XP grinder. Although it's a little too close to the house for my comfort. So <laughs> we'll see what we can do with that. But if we are able to find another another uh, spider spawner somewhere here close close to the house but not too close like I feel like this 
this uh, spawner is a tad too close to my house uh, because I, I would need to set it up so that it doesn't it doesn't uh, run at, at all you know when I'm around so anyway I wanted to hop over here to my barn and breed, breed some animals before we end this episode so let's see okay we do have we do have some wheat from the uh, old world here in the chest so that's good but we definitely need to start working on the working on the garden and whatnot. And I need to figure out what I want to do with the house. Whoopsie! Okay. No chickies. No escapees, please. Okay, there we go. And let's breed the the pigs too. Oh and I'm I'm out of carrots already. Well that's not good. Look okay. <laughs> so yeah, definitely need to start working on the garden. That's a must. But yeah, like I said, guys, I feel like we are going to go exploring a little bit. We can we can take honey and go flying somewhere in that direction. I feel. But yeah, anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time in Miranda. Definitely, guys, let me know what you think about the uh, current house design. If you have any ideas, they are always very much appreciated. And yeah, hope, you, hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.